Hey guys, uh, I'm here with Grady, and right now we're cleaning the garage. So uh, we'll put a time lapse of that, of cleaning the garage, so enjoy. Guys, um, we have the two quads out there. And Grady's just putting all the extra parts up there. Um, we're thinking about organizing the quads and the sleds around. We're not sure yet, but we're organizing all the tools and all the spare parts, motors, mufflers, pipes. Um, and then yeah, uh, and then we have a project video for this. Uh, this. We just got from the backyard, and we're gonna pipe this out the window, and then hopefully we'll get that going for tonight. So stay tuned. that short video um we got this motor moved and we're gonna go hopefully sell the honda four tracks so i don't know if there's gonna be any more part one or part two or the part two to it but then we got this uh all these spare parts up the gas cans and then grady's moving a sled right now back then we're gonna take that tarp and hang it up right here so we'll have our own little work area and then we got the hoses on the wall and the little paddle so yeah that's what we got done now and there's a lot more to do so we just moved the sled back and that currently doesn't have a skid, something broke on it. We plan on fixing that. And then we're just going to sweep all this out. And then hopefully put that red four-wheeler back uh, sideways against this wall. So we have all this room for activities. Because Grady plans on getting some more toys. What do you plan on getting? Pit bike and a dirt bike. Pit bike and a dirt bike and possibly another sled. But, yeah. But when I come up here next winter to a snowmobile, uh, I'll be putting my sled in here and then we'll get them ready for the next day. So we have to have plenty of room. So at least the pit bike and the dirt bike are small enough that we can just put them against the wall or something like that. Yep. <laughs> Taking the window off for the wood stuff, so let's do it. We did get it. There's the window. All right, guys. Well, some time has passed. A lot of time, actually. Uh, the last clip you guys seen, we were taking this window out which currently now has a wood stove in it. So we kind of, what? Would, how do you explain it? Kind of just took some time away from the camera, focused on this more and just got it done. What time is it now? 10.25, it is 10.25. We got all the quads back in here, organized that. So, uh, yeah. I'll explain a little about this wood stove uh, in a little bit, 
But yeah, we sweep the floors, got all that done, got the tools and everything organized, lights. Oh yeah, we got that light up and this light up. And that made a huge difference. It was like, I don't know, 50 times brighter than it was. But yeah, I'll get you guys a little into this little wood stove. So what this wood stove is, I don't really know the brand of it, but it's an outdoor uh, like campfire pit. And we took it, we raised it up on some blocks, and then we, in here, that's hot, but we scraped out everything, that, all the coals and stuff, in the red right now, because we just had it rolling. But we taped tin, or we put tin foil around it, trying to keep the heat and flames in. We made this little tin door, or sheet metal door, and then we got this laundry piping, uh, at Ace Hardware, and that come up into this connector piece, which uh, we took this. All right, guys. So where I left off, Grady got a phone call, but we used a quarter inch um, sheet of wood, and this was we just left this size. Um, this is how it came, but we cut the hole like this big, um, bigger than the actual pipe. So then it won't heat up this plastic, we'll just heat up this metal. And right here there's a little leak, that's why there's that. But anyways, here's this connecting piece, and that gets an air gap in between, so then the pipe will come up through. But yeah, that's the nice wood stove. We did put some heat reflective. This actually kind of helps, but we put some hooks and just covered up the outlet with tin foil so it doesn't heat that up and melt it. But other than that, it's actually a really good setup for, what you say, under $50? Probably a little bit over. But... 50 to $60. So heaters at like Walmart or something, even small heaters are almost 100 bucks. Yeah, like heaters um, that size is $90 at Walmart. And we... <laughs> just... Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, we got this for uh, we got the stove, which you can find on Facebook for you as prices. But that's actually really good. Fifty to sixty dollars for this whole setup is actually really good. But yeah, um, still geeking on it though. But yeah, we got everything organized. All around me are familiar.